In my view, broadband is a critical part of our infrastructure for the 21st century. It impacts so many aspects of our lives, including healthcare, education, economic development, job opportunities, to name just a few. Um, and currently, we have as a state goal to achieve 98% connectivity, but we're only about 75% there. But that doesn't really tell the whole story because it's an equity issue. And if you look at rural areas and low-income areas and urban environments, the percentage is much higher uh, of those people who do not have internet connect connectivity. Well, since its existence, CETF has been a strong advocate for closing the digital divide, and I believe that they were instrumental in establishing the various consortia around the state that are funded now by the um, California Public Utilities Commission. And this was really a very important move because these consortia have the opportunity uh, or are able to bring many stakeholders together, form, forge partnerships, and be impactful in the communities where they're located. Um, in addition to that, speaking from someone who is a beneficiary of CETF in terms of, of the, um, being a, on, uh, one of the consortia, um, CETF gives us great technical assistance, advice, news. They provide model programs. They provide model policies. Um, and one area in particular that affects our consortium because one of our goals is to um, go out to communities and stress the importance of having strong broadband capacity and speed to spur economic development and job creation. And um, they make it so easy for us to go these, to these communities and say, here are things you can do. Here are things that other communities have done and have been successful. This is really helpful when you're working with communities, cities and counties that don't have a lot of staff and don't have to really reinvent the wheel. So CETF, in my opinion, has been an absolutely essential part of moving us um, to close the digital divide. I would also say that their legislative advocacy has been extremely important, and certainly the Internet for All Act, um, which I understand will be reintroduced in the legislature, is uh, something that they're going to be very helpful with. I think the state is doing a very good job. Um, they, through the California Public Utilities Commission, has funded the California Advanced Services Fund, which really prioritizes getting uh, broadband out to rural areas where they simply don't have those, that connectivity. So they've done a great job with that. Um, and it has been, re, um, I believe, reauthorized. And I would certainly hope that the state would continue to do that um, to, until we can reach the goal of 98%. Um, in addition, hopefully the legislature will pass the Internet for All um, law this year or this session. Um, certainly it helps in uh, other areas, not just rural areas, um, in terms of connectivity, uh, public housing, uh, working with uh, community, community benefit organizations that provide low-income uh, families with Internet connectivity and refurbished computers.